Well, new help for Long Islanders battling addiction. The island's first drug addiction recovery center opening its doors today. New Saul's Andrew Anger was there. Prescription drug abuse and heroin controlled Justine's life for almost a decade. There were dark days, absolutely. Then she says she chose to get clean and stay that way. She says it was a difficult road at the time, but a road that will now be easier for others like her. Two, one. A celebration today for the opening of Long Island's first drop-in recovery center. The Thrive Center will be a place for information, counseling, and peer support for those in recovery from drugs or alcohol. Supporters say a program like this makes it 75% more likely that a recovering addict won't relapse. It's about treatment, it's about prevention, and it's about recovery, and recovery is forever. Somewhat similar to the struggle of addiction recovery, the Thrive Center had its own kind of struggle of just coming into being. You see, supporters say dozens of landlords across Long Island turned them down saying they didn't want to have the stigma of a recovery center in their building until one said yes. Finding this location means that we can help break through that stigma, that we can convey that there's a large group of, of people on Long Island who have struggled with addiction, but they've come out the other side. Linda Ventura lost her 21-year-old son Thomas to heroin five years ago this month. She says a recovery center like this may have saved her son. Now she hopes it will help others just like him going forward. I hope that uh, 100,000 Thomases walk through that door, and I know that they will, and I know that my son is walking right behind them. In Hopog, Andrew Enger, News 12, Long Island. Now, even supporters say without some kind of support or coaching moving forward, 75% of recovering addicts eventually relapse even after rehab treatment.